Hey people, I want to talk about why Roe vs. Wade is unconstitutional and always has been. But first, please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, comment in the box, and hit that bell for notifications. So let's talk about why Roe vs. Wade should never have been Ill, uh, uncon or should never have been constitutional and should be deemed unconstitutional today. So let's go over the first reason. Okay, now. How many people out there realize that in 1972, September of 1972, the United States government established WIC, Women, Infants, and Children. This group, this government tax-funded organization would help pregnant women get the, the nutrition they need. The one prerequisite for WIC was, in fact, a, po a positive pregnancy test. So then you tell me, in 1973, less than six months later, we went from we we went from helping unborn children and using them to qualify for, I mean, a positive pregnancy qualified for tax tax funded assistant WIC program, yet in 1973, Roe v. Wade passed, and suddenly none of those children, unborn children, were being, um, none of the qualified for due process. So essentially what you got is you got unborn children who qualify for tax-assisted programs, but they don't qualify for due process or life. The mere fact that they were handing out WIC before they were handing before they were doing legal abortions is simply case for itself that there was an established price. There was an established um, rule set for unborn children. Taxpayers were already funding them, which means Roe versus Wade was unconstitutional from the beginning because of taxation without representation. The American people were taxed for a wick when unborn children were never represented for their rights of due process, even though they qualified for government assistance. This is a hypocritical statement in American history. This is one reason why Roe v. Wade is illegal and unconstitutional. So let's go into the next reason. The next reason you hear of a lot is woman's choice. This is a big thing you hear in the communities. Well, here's the funny thing about woman's choice. Let me just say that, let me start with, um, in the 60s, women fought for equality. Women fought for equal pay, equal opportunity, equal rights. Equality. Yet, by 1973, equality turned into woman's choice. So you got to wonder, why is this? How did you go from wanting equality to basically undermining every father's rights in America? So let me, let me, let me tell you how you do it. First, it starts with a war. It starts with Vietnam. It starts with putting reporters on the front lines. It starts with showing footage of our GIs, who are all men at the time, shooting children or other people. And one of the most famous videos is our GIs shooting babies in diapers. But what it doesn't show you is how the baby in a diaper has a hand grenade in the diaper. And either you shoot the baby or the baby comes over here and takes out your entire platoon. So, that's the one thing that these liberals didn't say. So they pushed this idea that our men were baby murderers by the time they got home. So they got spit on, kicked around, treated like crap when they got here. All because the liberal media, the deep state media subverted everybody here at home into believing somehow our troops were out there doing heinous, awful things. Now, no court in America is going to give a man their rights 
of fatherhood when they're off at war and all America has ever seen is RGIs shooting babies. You see, this is one reason that the women had got their choice. Okay. Now, when you think about that term itself, woman's choice, let me just say this. Are we to a point in life where we're now saying that a father has no rights? That a father cannot choose rationally decisions for their children? Are we saying that fathers are not as necessary as mothers? Because statistically speaking, the crime rate has drastically went up ever since the lack of fathers went up too. So the more single mothers, the more our crime rate goes up. And yet, fathers are consistently attacked. Woman's choice has led to, you can't discipline a child. You can't spank a child. You can't yell at a child. This is all considered abuse because they're somehow afraid you're going to shoot your kid in a diaper. And this is all based on the videos they were force-fed during Vietnam. So there you go. There's a second reason of woman's choice and why it is offensive and it does violate the gender discrimination policy inside our American Constitution. So let's go over the third and final reason why I believe Ro Roe versus Wade is unconstitutional. Because Roe versus Wade is designed by definition, to control populations. One of the chief founders and one of the main architects behind Roe versus Wade was the founder of Planned Parenthood, Margaret Sanger. Margaret Sanger has had so many quotes about the extermination of minority groups, about controlling minority groups. My... Margaret Sanger went on to become the founder of Planned Parenthood, an evil organization that has literally aborted 55 plus million minority children in America. Enough children to fill both Tokyo and Los Angeles. So when you think about that for a minute, you have an evil organization founded by a known Nazi, founded by a known KKK member, someone who hated races, who hated minority groups to the point where she would speak openly at KKK rallies about how they're reckless breeders and that how they had to be controlled. And we allowed this lady to get government funded money to create an organization that went on to kill more minority babies than any other group of people or organization on this planet. So can you explain to me how Roe versus Wade does not violate racist laws in America? Because I firmly believe Roe versus Wade was designed to wipe out and control black populations specifically and I can prove it any rookie lawyer can prove it all they got to do is type in Margaret Sanger Planned Parenthood and you get all the proof you need right out of her own words so the fact that Roe versus Wade has lasted this long and no one's done anything to stop it, the fact that me, someone with a low-level law degree, can come up with one of the biggest reasons why it's unconstitutional and yet no one else has thought of it is completely ridiculous. So that's my opinion on Roe versus Wade. That's why it's unconstitutional. That's why it should have never been constitutional. And if you agree with me, please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, hit that bell for notifications, and comment in the box below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. God bless. Duncan out.